15 minute cities make everything walkable. You can go by foot to grab a coffee, do your grocery shopping, have a pint. And if you don't fancy walking, everything you need is just a five minute bicycle ride away. Lovely. Fans of this scheme say it will deal with traffic and congestion and make life easier, more convenient and sustainable for locals. So there is this radical, frightening new concept going around conservative and crypto techno libertarian circles on the news, online, and maybe even in your local community. It's called the 15 minute city. In this highly dystopian future urban environment, everything that you need in your daily life, your place of work, where you go shopping, your school, everything will be within a 15 minute walk or bicycle ride of where you live. Yes, you did hear that right. I didn't misspeak. It is really truly terrifying to think about living in a community that serves your needs and serves the needs of the community at large. But this is the future that an elite cabal of educators and I guess ultra wealthy globalists want for, for us and our communities. They expect us to just roll over and accept it. Just imagine with me for a minute how horrible your life would be if you could just walk outside your house and you could buy groceries or you could send your kid walking to school or you could just walk to the gym or the park or, or the cinema it's just shocking to think about no actually you know what you don't have to just imagine it allow me to take you into the pits of hell and what i'm talking about is a community that better serves your needs the first thing that you will notice about living in a 15 minute community is that you can live a fulfilling functional and varied life without the need of a car. Yes, I agree with you. The thought of not driving every single place is enough to send shivers down one's spine. Look at how this nightmarish car-free scenario plays out for me as we go about a full day never straying more than 15 minutes from home. In the morning, I wake up and I, I simply walk out of the house with my dog. I walk her for about two minutes just around the corner and we arrive at a local park. She is free to sniff and pee and play and meet other dogs as much as she wants. In a 15 minute city, we are forced to miss out on the best parts of the experience of owning a dog. And that's where we load the dog into the car and we drive together to the dog park. The dog sheds in the car and gets mud in the car and you know, that's just, that's the beauty of owning a dog. So after we have fun in the park, next we're forced to walk another five minutes to get to a cafe. And not just any cafe, this is the cafe that allows you to sit outside in a plaza away from the sounds of traffic and the smell of car exhaust. And I don't know about you, but if I can't get my coffee from a drive through line where I get to enjoy the wait behind a massive idling truck spewing fumes into my window for minutes at a time every single morning, then I don't want to drink it. But let's just play devil's advocate here for a minute and say that I do opt to get out of my car, out of the drive through and go into the cafe because I do want to enjoy a nice cup of joe outside. Thankfully, in my non 15 minute city, I get the pleasure and the privilege of sitting outside in a strip mall parking lot and I get to enjoy the serenity. You reckon we were the luckiest family in the world? Dale, I reckon we're the luckiest family in the world. Yeah. He loved the serenity of the place. How's the serenity? I think he also just loved the word. So much serenity. Now that I'm sufficiently caffeinated, I do need to get to work. Just look at all these healthy people walking to their jobs in this modern office tower. None of these, let's be frank, pitiful people were allowed to experience the pleasure of an hour long commute. They didn't get to be stuck in a giant traffic jam listening to AM radio install patriotism into their barely functioning brains. I really am starting to feel bad for these pathetic people that don't know that they should be protesting against their horrifying lives in this liberal, communist, socialist, 15 minute wasteland of a city. And not only are people walking to work, but kids, literal kids, even as young as six or seven years old, are able to walk or cycle to their school alone or with their friends. Haven't you as a parent ever wished that you had less time for yourself and wish that your children were less independent and less healthy? I'm not a parent myself, so I can't say one way or the other, but I would imagine that most parents would much prefer to have to chauffeur their children everywhere to school and back, to band practice, to baseball practice. How could you not love that bonding time of you sitting in the car, yelling at your kids while they eat McDonald's in the backseat and drop french fries everywhere? Like, it just sounds like paradise to me. So let's continue on ahead in this nightmarish journey through a 15 minute city. What's this? Public transport? Not only is it nearby, but it's cheap and it's efficient. What is it doing serving an entire community with an extensive network that is reliable and safe? What kind of jerk would want something like that in their community? Public transport? Are you kidding me? Think about all the riffraff that'll attract. And not just a rail network, but there's buses too. What? They're all electric? 
This is completely asinine. These 15 minute cities, they don't even have massive parking lots and strip malls where we can drive in circles around and around and around searching for the perfect spot in order to avoid taking as many steps as possible anytime that we wanna do anything. I mean, just look at this. Think about how bad it must be to be able to walk to where we eat, shop, and get entertained. I've never experienced a greater pleasure than finding the closest parking spot in the whole lot. And in a 15 minute city, you don't even get the opportunity to experience that. So look at this hell that I'm currently living under. I beg you, don't let your city ever become like this. Let's very quickly look at within 15 minutes of my house, what all the options are of what I can actually do. Eat, Chinese food, Western food, Indian food, French food, Mexican food, fast food. I can go to the cinema, shopping, big brands, small brand, ride public transport, take my dog to the vet, enjoy a museum, go to the sea. No wait, that one's forbidden. Enjoy public art. Really, really enjoy public art. Go to the public health clinic. Go to the park. Go to the dog park. Climb a mountain. Get a foot massage. Get a back massage. Clean my ears. Go to the gym. Go to the pool. Go grocery shopping. Go to the bar. Go to a craft brewery. Shoot, I can even take a ferry to Hong Kong. I could go on and on and on, but I think and I hope that you get the point by now. And that is, no one in their right mind should be opposed to a 15-minute city. Before they had this fun, catchy 15-minute title, they were just called walkable communities. Unfortunately, we have a big problem, and that's there's a lot of people that are not in their right mind. They're not thinking clearly. They believe in this wild conspiracy theory that the world elite want to stop you from leaving your community for uh, reasons. Yes, I've, I've tried to understand the reasons, but in the end, it always just boils down to how the elites would like to control you and your life. If you're a crypto bro, it's because they want to control your digital wallet and your digital ID. They don't want the crypto people to have their own control over their own money i don't really get it but there you go and if you're just a normal conservative it's because pursuing policies that create cleaner air and healthier communities and happier people that's liberal nonsense that's California. that's joe brandon i'm not quite sure either but there you go so allow me to uh, bring you back to reality right here and say that if you are one of these people who believes in this nonsense i just have one thing to ask you i guess or to say and that is with the way that your community is designed right now how much control do you really have over your life anyway when everything that you can do is essentially limited or governed by your ability to drive somewhere if you are forced to own a car in order to get to work and back or to get groceries or to take your kids different places this pretty much means that unless you're very wealthy and it means you're forced to work in order to pay for that and that's just in order to survive so i'm here to tell you that a 15 minute city if you move to one it will make your life exponentially better you will have more freedom not less you will have a healthier body a healthier mind i mean just look at these guns just kidding <laughs> and you'll have more options for how you choose to spend each and every day of your life. And most importantly, from my perspective, is you'll actually feel like you are part of a community. You won't feel separate from it. You know, I'm American. When I live in America, when I stay in America, and you know, I'm from the suburbs, I don't feel like I'm part of a community. Everything feels very isolated. Go from house to car to shop to car to house. It's, you're like in a bubble everywhere you go. You don't feel connected to anybody. In a 15 minute city, instead of shooting your neighbor who knocks on your door or pulls in your driveway, you recognize your neighbor because you see them every single day. You share a community together. You see them walking. You see them in the courtyard of your apartment building. You see them in the coffee shop. You have empathy for people. You, you don't fear people. When you live in a walkable community or a 15 minute community, you start to realize that other people actually exist. They're not just giant hunks of metal moving back and forth through the same physical space as you there's actually people moving through this space you start to realize that these people have hopes and dreams and careers and families you realize that they're human and they're just like you you might even stop and say hi when you start to see these people every single day of your life you might strike up a conversation make a friend these people might even be very different from you you know i i know it's very scary you might see a trans person or a gay person or a black person or a chinese person and it might frighten you but in a real community, you know what? You realize that they're not really that different from you. In a walkable community, instead of getting your car and speeding past the mom and pop shop. Look at that! What? Back there! On a, you know, big white avenue or a strode on your way to a giant Walmart. Instead of doing that, no, you walk through your neighborhood and you stop at the mom and pop shop and you talk to the owner. You start to care about the people that are running the businesses in the community. You know, just on a fundamental level, you're gonna care more about the cashier or the owner of a local shop in your own community more than corporate Walmart executives gonna care about 
any one cashier or somebody else in their store. That's just how it works. I, I don't know if I have to explain this to you guys, but that's just the truth of the matter. And the same thing if you wanna go get a coffee, for example. You know, in your car, you might say, hey, I'm gonna cut off in front of this person and get to the, the drive through first. If you're standing in line or two people are, are going to the coffee shop walking at the same time, probably more likely to open a door for a person, right? And let them in first. A 15 minute city, at least, from my perspective, it's more than just being walkable. It's about creating a feeling of civic pride, a feeling of community. It's about creating a place that you actually want to spend time in. So if you're one of those people who's really afraid of a 15 minute community or a walkable community and you're protesting it and you don't want it to happen, the only thing I really have to say to you is, well, I guess I have a couple of things I could say to you, but I'm not gonna, I don't know, just go out and experience it or open your mind a little bit. There's no elite cabal of people who are gonna create like District 9 or whatever it is in your mind. So allow people to build bike lanes or, or protected bike paths even on the road. Allow city centers to be close to through traffic or close to traffic entirely. Allow the community to actually fill in and thrive and not just be a place that you drive through. Get to know your neighbor. My neighbors are all Chinese and I say hi to them, I talk to them, our dogs sniff each other's butts. It's just part of living in a happy, vibrant, healthy community. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, give me money, uh, do whatever you want. As always, I don't care. I don't control your life. <laughs> All right. Bye.